Tonight's Lone Star Adventure has a harder edge. It's a wildlife rescue center that tells us it's in financial crisis, a place you can volunteer at and maybe help to save. We headed east outside of Terrell to Cross Timbers Ranch, the National Bobcat Res Rescue and Research Foundation. <laughs> The Wildlife Center at Cross Timbers Ranch is a rescue center for wildlife in general, but it's become one for bobcats in particular. The number of bobcats that were coming through our door when we moved to Texas 10 years ago was astounding. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable. We had no idea what we were getting into. 150 bobcats a year, most urban bobcats brought here by animal control officers from cities in North Texas. Most of them released, but not all can be. Come on, all the way in. If you want to go right up to that tire up there. Uh, we started working just with wild ones. Into the bobcat den we go with cats who were once pets. When we started with the wild ones, um, we started getting calls for the people that couldn't keep the pets anymore. We get most of these imprinted cats between four and six months old uh, because they just get really wild at about that age and they, they start scaring people. So, uh, you know, the first time somebody's bit or scratched or the animal growls at them, they're done. Such bobcats could survive in the wild, but having lost their fear of man ensures they wouldn't for long. Once that fear is gone, it's gone forever. And if they approached somebody, um, they would get shot. This cat's name is Crystal, one of those who's been imprinted with uh, human contact and can't be released into the wild. Cross Timbers is recognized nationally for its work. In fact, in the last five years, 50 of the cats who were here who could not be released have been sent to zoos around the country, including three to the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. 5,000 animals a year go through here, including orphan skunks. A lot of times the mamas are killed on the road, so the orphans are, are left behind. You just have to work real quiet around them. Quiet and slow. And raccoons. People try and get, raise them as pets, and they don't realize how big they get. <laughs> this particular enclosure, they are ready for release. Um, However, we can't release them until the rain goes. But all is in jeopardy, a financial crisis that could leave the Bobcats and the rest homeless. It's complicated, but suffice to say that Cross Timbers has to raise money and soon, or lose the property that it's built on. We are the only wildlife center in all of North Texas. We're the only one that can take in more than 10 or 20 animals at a time. And people don't realize that, you know, when they bring an animal to their local animal shelter, they don't realize it comes to cross timbers. They don't realize when they take it to the vets that, that it comes to cross timbers. We need to find a way to get this property, un, you know, free and clear so that we can continue our work here. For more on Cross Timbers Ranch and the National Bobcat Rescue and Research Foundation, how you can help, maybe check out the story on our website. We'll have a link there. You can find dozens of Lone Star Adventures at fox4news.com. Search Lone Star Adventures, bookmark.